Your story, it's so much more than physical. There, yeah. There's been such an emotional part of this for you too. Yeah, um, I'd say most of it was just emotional. Uh, I talked about last season having, you know, issues with my, you know, perception of myself, you know, as far as my body was concerned, and I just, I was very negative towards myself. There were no good vibes. And I don't even think about weight anymore. I think about how happy I am and how powerful I feel. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> well, and, and Dr. Farouz, Jimmy, always a pleasure to have you here, but this is why we love what we do, yes? You know, 100%, as you can see from that picture, and as you know, Dr. Orton, the patients come in for their pre-op pictures. I don't tell them how to stand, but they always stand a little bit slouched. <laughs> and in the after pictures, again, I don't tell them how to stand. Proud. They're always more confident. They <laughs> yeah. stand up straighter. Again, they're just more confident. And, and Dr. Farouz, uh, not all breast lifts are the same. Tell us what you did in this particular case. So, you know, um, after significant weight loss or breastfeeding, the breast tends to sag. And, you know, we can do a breast lift if the patient is happy with their size, just do a lift without an implant. But in her case, she wanted more volume, more cleavage, more fullness up top. So we, not only did we do a lift, we also added the implant to add more volume for her. And one of the things I gave an analogy of is altering a dress or a suit, for example. You don't know exactly what you're gonna do until you try on that dress or the suit for the tailor. So in her case, I put in the implant and then I alter the skin or the dress around the new implant. So depending on what she needs, I really tailor tack it or determine in the OR how much skin I need to remove to give her that ultimate or uh, ideal shape and contour to her breast. Well, with that tape measure around your neck, you did look like a tailor. That's yeah, what exactly. <laughs> And, you know, getting back to exercise was important for you, right? Not just physically, but also mentally. Mentally. Yeah. Again, very, very mental for me. Um, I've taken up, a, especially as of recently, a lot more running. I uh, try to get outside a little bit more as opposed to being in a gym. Um, and I'm really excited because this is like the biggest deal for me. Um, since 2013, I've been wanting to do a Tough Mudder. And I've always been terrified of doing it, you know, because the obstacles are all mental. I'm terrified of heights as well. So I know that there are a lot of obstacles that are, you know, geared towards heights and whatnot. And uh, this last weekend, I finished my first one. Congratulations. That is not easy. Before we let you go, I want to ask you something. In a little post post game refreshment there, oh, yeah, a little yeah. post tough Every, everyone refreshment. Gets a beer. <laughs> and that's the key. You're you're enjoying your life, but but I want to ask you something because your transformation not only dealing with an abusive ex and going through all that, when you look in the mirror now, what do you see? I see uh, somebody who has experienced adversity and, and, and pain. And I, instead of seeing somebody that's beaten and broken, I see somebody that is on top of the world. Somebody, like, I feel like if I hadn't gone through those experiences, I wouldn't be who I am today. And I'm actually very proud of who I am today. So We're proud of you too, Haley. Keep up the great work, Haley. Dr. Cruz, thank you so much for your great work.